Hello, this is Gene. Um, I'm going to try a new, another episode of called Let's Talk. I did one last month and I got like 85 views, so I thought I would uh, talk about what's going on in the world and my opinion on it. Um, a lot of people know what's going on with the virus and uh, depending on what side you're on, and apparently there is a side here, uh, you can't be just uh, unbiased and just say, well, look at the facts and try to figure out how it's going to impact the United States or Canada or England or whatever. The people that actually watch to my um, videos, some of them live in England. Um, but you have people get on, uh, give on, get online saying it's the greatest thing of all time or the worst thing of all time, saying that it's going to be 50 or 60 million people are going to be impacted by it. We're going to have a million people here are going to die in the United States. And I'm like, okay, but there was only 4,000 that were killed in China and that there's a billion people in China. Uh, but anyway, <clears throat> so I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about how it's going to affect uh, the sports world and my thoughts on that. I took a little, uh, on Facebook today, I just, I did a long statement about it because I love sports and uh, it sucks, but it doesn't really suck for the athletes, to be, to be honest, the professional athletes. It's more about the people that get their money um, working at these places and uh, it's going to hurt them because they're not going to have that income to take care of the family. Uh, the athletes will still be paid regardless, so it's not like they're going to lose anything. They're going to lose some of their uh, pride and glory when they win these types of tur tournaments or uh, competitions, and, and they won't be able to have that. Uh, not right now, anyway. So, let me start about the virus. Um, I've always been kind of concerned about it. I'm an older man now. I'm 50, I'll be 55 in a couple of weeks. Uh, I'm still not in the demographics that it gets really, really bad for. <clears throat> but I have a son that has um, a re reactive airway disease, um, and he's he's had issues. And I have problems with my immune system as well. So I don't want to get it. I don't want to, to give it to my son. Um, I think that because I work out and I'm in pretty good health, even though my body feels like it's falling apart all the time, but I walk all the day, all the time, and I keep my heart rate up, and I think I could fight it off, but I don't want my son to go out, go through it. So obviously, I'm going to take my precautions when I see somebody coughing. I'm going to be away from them, um, you know, and I'm not going to be uh, tied down to the idea that if I see a, an Asian person who happens to be coughing, that I'll walk away from them. And I'm not going to sit there and subs um, give any. Um, What's the word? I'm not. I'm not going to just do it because I'm going to go up. I'm not going to go up there and shake his, their hands just so I don't be racist. Let's say, I'm not going to suscept my son to that and myself, um, even though they probably don't have anything like that. But they might have the flu or something, and I don't want that either. So you know that the flu kills about twenty thousand in this country all the time. So what we have, and the problem in this country is that we cannot have a fair discussion on this because everybody comes in with their biases. It's very hard for anybody that can just come in there and not not even talk about how Trump has re reacted to it or how the Democrats have reacted to it. Instead of asking the doctor what they believe and what what's the history of these type of viruses, what can we expect in this country? Uh, and I have no problem bringing on social sciences that come in there, guys that know our culture and, and how we interact with each other. Because the problem that I have that I've seen is that are a lot of guys that I respect, but these are from the sport world, sports world, these pundits like Dan Pratt, Patrick is, is on his uh, show today and he's, you know, he's, he's basically got his head cut off and he's basically uh, comparing us to Italy or comparing us to China. And he says that we're going to have the same um, graft style of what's going through in uh, those areas. Now, he's right because what happens with these type of viruses that they continually double at some point and then they level off and they go down. So there is a little, like a, a bell curve. But I think what he's res uh, responding to is what I saw on Twitter the other day, that we were, it was being compared to Italy. And they were like saying we had the same amount of infections at the same time that Italy had. And I'm like, well, wait a second, we're about six times bigger than Italy. Five and a half. That's the official um, population numbers. But we all know that we have more than... The, the, the amount of illegals in this country, probably about 400 million people in this country. So about four, you know, 
40 or 35 percent of the size of of uh, China when it comes to population, and uh, Italy has about 600, 60 million. And the other thing is too, each culture is different. Um, the culture, the medium age, the media age, and uh, in uh, Italy is a bit higher. A lot of people that are older at that time are being affected. And we also found out today that uh, there was like 100,000 uh, people from Wuhan that, that work and go back and forth between Italy and to uh, Wuhan all the time. And that's in Northern Italy, and that's what they shut down early because they knew that there was probably a, prob uh, a, a chance with that. Now, look at this. I'm not, I'm not somebody that, I don't want anybody to have it. I don't want anybody to die. Um, <clears throat> Uh, tomorrow, I, I could, I'm right now, I'm coughing a little bit. People might say, oh my God, you have it. Um, but it's, if I get it, I get it, you know. But when I, I want to protect my family, um, I have no issue, and I put this on Facebook, I have no issue that, even though I think it's probably overblown a little bit, I have no issue with them shutting down the seasons. Um, you know, and, uh, you know, what WrestleMania is coming, and that's something that I look forward to, and my son likes it. Um, it kind of sucks. It's again for the vendors and the people that work the hotels that they, they get more money that that way, and uh, people that work at restaurants, and waste wait waitresses and waiters and all that. A lot of money is going to be lost by this. Same with the NCAA tournament when it comes to basketball and the NBA, which I don't give a shit about, uh, is probably going to shut down for a while. Now, my problem still is is that we have everybody comes at it basically on what on what side of the political political spectrum they're on. Uh, if you're a Democrat, apparently you have to train, uh, claim Trump, that he didn't do what he's supposed to do, yet your party, get every right today, they're still saying he shouldn't, he shouldn't put down or shouldn't shut down the borders at all uh, because it's all racist and stuff. So what do you want us, what do you want your president want to do if he's supposed to like defend and protect the, the country and we have enough data to know how it's uh, how it can come in this country. Most of uh, the, the entire virus came from people who come out of this country and came into this country, or they came from like China and came here and they started affecting. And then what happens is it, it go, you have a, 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 pay, a pace in zero, right? And that person affects these people. But just watching these people online and on TV and on the internet, they're just, their faces, they're just, they're going crazy like Pierce Morgan. He's just going crazy saying we're like Italy, like the UK is going to be like Italy. Uh, maybe it will be. I don't know. Uh, but there is there is a difference in culture here. Uh, the Italians are very, um, they touch each other a lot more. They, u they use their hands more. They're, they're, uh, they're distanced when they're having uh, conversations with each other, usually a lot closer. So when you're talking and, and that spittum comes out and it gets into the other person, that's how it gets transferred. Um, whereas Unfortunately or fortunately in the United States, we become more of an isolated uh, culture where we kind of like stay away from people. But you still go into places where people are at and this is how it, it, can, it can spread and we should be looking at it and what we can stop that from happening. But it's just they get on there and it just they don't have any that, anything that's not unbiased. They will always track it back to who they believe when it comes to political sides. So I put that on Facebook today. I said, I love sports. Everybody who knows me, I love sports. Um, but I have no issue if they shut it down. Um, it, we can always come back to this. Uh, it, we'll, we'll be fine with that. Uh, I don't really have a, they, If they shut down Hollywood, that would be fine too. And I have hundreds and thousands of stuff that are from Hollywood as far as movies and stuff. So I have no issue with that either. Um, I guess Tom Hanks got it. Well, you know, it, it couldn't happen that way. I do think that most of it's going to be in the suburban areas like New York City, Seattle, L.A. These places are going to San Francisco. Obviously, we know the problem with San Francisco. Uh, you know, they don't really clean up after themselves. So this is something that will be a problem there. Uh, and I'm not going to sit there and say that I know anything. But it's just funny. Each of these people say, well, I'm not an expert. But that, let me just, just let me just talk like I am. Uh, and I, I, it's, a, it's a disservice. I mean, it looked like that Tom, Dan Patrick was on Coke this morning when I was watching him. And I guess he thinks he's now a real journalist, so he's going to talk about something that's important. Because sports, in, in a lot of ways, don't mean shit. I think that when you're growing up, I think it's a good, valuable tool to, lear to learn teamworks and, and all that type of thing. But when you get to the professional levels, 
it, it does, it's just entertainment at that point. So I started thinking about this and, you know, I saw the internet the other day and now that, that, um, we're the, the, the national team, the women's national team is suing and it's at, it's at the court stage right now. And they found this information. These uh, people found uh, the things that the U S soccer were saying that uh, women should not be paid, uh, because they don't play at the same level as the men. Now, of course, that's not exactly how they worded it, but this is how these people online took it. And they think, oh my God, it's all Trocanian. It's all people in the 1950s that, and they think that women can't do what women, uh, men can do. And I'm like, does anybody have any common sense in here? <laughs> they can't, all right? There are sports that they can compete with men in. Sp golf is one of them. If you have a woman that actually can hit, hit the ball a long way, they can compete. You might be one woman that could stay and, and uh, qualify and play on the, uh, the PGA Tour. There are a couple women that probably can do that. Um, and when it comes to archers, archery or any of those type of things, darts or uh, race car driving, women can compete and they can win in that level. Or if they're a motorcycling thing, they can do. Things that has uh, an engine that it's not their physical part that wins it. But these guys, all these white knights online, when I when I started to go back and say, well, there's a reason why. I said, this team could not beat a high school team. And we should just pay the money the same as the men make. And then you try to compare the, the, the relative success of the men's team compared to the women's team. And I've always said that this this our soccer team, how it's set up, it's one of those unique situations. And I have no issue with the women wanting to ask to get more money, okay? But we have to go back how this all started. It was four or five years ago. They signed a contract. They they collectively looked at the contract and they signed it. Then about three day, three months after that, they won the World Cup. And they then they decided that everything's sexism. They went all the uh, TV shows in the morning saying it's all sexism and, and U.S. soccer was sec were all sexist. Instead of saying, we really screwed up when we renegotiated this contract. We probably should have put a little clause in there. If we win the World Cup, give us 10% more, whatever. Um, but they didn't do that. And they just they did this, the same tired excuse is, is why they're getting paid less than the men. Now, as bad as the men have been, they still bring in at least as much or more than the women at all. So in order for the men to actually be motivated to come play for the, uh, the national team, they have to be paid because they're paid so well and, and where they play. So anyway, it's a pro thing, right? So these guys are saying, the one guy came back and said, well, that's nonsense. They do the same thing that men do, and they, they have the same, uh, you know, they can get injured and all this stuff like that. And I said, okay, you think that they're at the same level. So if somebody is playing B -law, or uh, A ball, uh, in the major leagues, so you think they should get paid as much as the guy that's up at the major leagues? It's the same sport, right? Should they get exactly the same? Because they have the same injury that they got to deal with. In fact, they probably have more uh, circumstances where they're get injured because they're how they're not being taken care of as well as the guys at the major leagues. Of course, these guys won't respond to stuff like that. Or if I say that you know, man to man, there is no woman that would ever qualify for any National League team. They just they're they're not. Um, it's not the same level. I'm just, you know, there are girls that can play the game really well, like Marta and some of the other ones, but they would still, they, they could, they might be able to start on a, a male's high school team. And we, we just, we're just, we're so lost when it comes to that. Now, the, the other issue is if the women were making all the money and all the revenue, uh, do you think that if the men now said, well, we're, we're doing the same thing. And if we actually got to play them, we would beat them. But the, the, the sporting world doesn't like to watch us. You know, our, 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 our sport is not as good and the women play it better than us. Um, do you think that there'd be any outright, uh, outright uh, outcry if the guys said, I want more money? I mean, there are a lot of places, a lot of uh, vocations that men don't get as much as men or women do. And the other thing is people don't ever talk about the, the women on the, the national team. They, their career can go further than that. And they can they go they go to modeling and they have a different type of endorsements. There are very few of the uh, men that have any type of endor endorsements. And it's not just because the men, you know, when you look at their success, is not as well as the women, but it's just we like to look at the underdog or whatever, and we we try to help them. It's just and the fact that they started with this and they have too many too many real feminists that are on the team and they're. Too many girls on there that won't stand up and say, this is stupid. Why are we doing this? Um, I know there's a couple of them on there. And 
every now and then they'll say something when they're all together and they're on a, a view or they're uh, being talked to you can see that they're like this is not really the way to go and you know in u.s soccer everybody's like i can't believe they put this in their brief and I, you know, what, what, are you, what are you supposed to when you get to the point saying there has to be a reason why you pay him at the same level as this person you have to sit there and say well they're not physically the same they're not they can't do the same thing they're not the revenue is not the same uh, when when the, the women's FIFA World Cup was there was 12 million dollars for the entire thing the men it was like 60 billion or so. it was craziness and so the other thing is too is when you really look at the list, the history of women's soccer in this country, after what they, in 99, and I've been a fan for the guys who just first get here, I've always been a fan of the women's team before 99. So when they won in 99, uh, they, they had a, a women's league, it failed. They tried it again, failed again. They fired, they did it again, failed again. Um, the male uh, teams are just finally get to the point where they're profitable. Um, I mean, in this country, we don't really have a huge appetite appetite for soccer, uh, but they're doing well. The, the, the MLS is doing okay. Um, so the, this is this idea that that we should give the money. I mean, are, are we going to look at um, national soccer, women's soccer, just like the NBA and how the NBA has to supplement the N NWA or excuse me, the, the women's NBA? Uh, it's because the same thing, right? Do you think now? I mean, that's the other thing. Do you think that women that play in WNBA should get the same as the guys who play in the NBA? I, I mean, are you fucking kidding me? I, I, again, I could definitely, I'm 55 almost, I could hold my own against most of the girls in the, in the WNBA. No question in my mind I could. So, you're going to give me that same amount of money? I mean, like, it, there's, no, there's, about a, there's no common sense here when we talk about that. And the other thing is, uh, we know that we're allowing, the, you don't even have to cut off the weepus. And you could still claim that you're a female or a man, or you're, you can be a, a female, but you're still a man. And then you go and destroy all their their um, their records, and people are like they don't know what to do. The left doesn't understand how to fix this. Uh, <laughs> you shouldn't allow men to, uh, uh, you know, biological men should not be able to comp compete against other women. And I would hope that maybe the AEW would look at that as well, because their women's champion is a guy. So anyway. Those are all like not really that important. Now you know that that the judge will probably rule for the women because we have to do this, right? Because we have to make uh, uplift women. You would hope that there was a judge out there that actually would stand up and say, you know what? Sorry, you you are not at the same level as the men. Um, and they they even when they suck, they still have more revenue than you do. Again, I have no issue that they go back and try to renegotiate it after they won the World Cup. I would do it, why not? Let's go ahead and try to do it. But don't, at the very beginning, don't sit there and say, the reason why we're doing this is because it's there, there's a culture of sexism at US soccer, which is the biggest fucking lie in history. And why would I ever respect any woman that decided that, they, that this is what was going on? They, should we pay the softball, softball players the same as the, the pay, people that play in uh, major leagues? These girls play, they play $5,000 they get to play three or four months. And of course, they're on there saying that they should get more money. Well, they make no money because they don't review, that there's no revenue that comes in. And why don't the women's team take whatever they make and help out those type of uh, women's sports that are not making any money? They won't do it. They think that they, this is all, they think that they're doing something that's going to be great for all women when all they're doing is for themselves. It's so narcissistic. It's the same victim mentality that they've been grown up by, and they they're they're led by a crazy ass woman, who who's decent as a player for a female, who's been around great players, but somehow she's lifted up because she has sex with women. I mean, that's what the, the her calling card is that she's a, a lesbian. Okay, good for you. I mean, it's different because a man a man in news is who is a lesbian who has won two champ championships in the UFC, who gets paid a lot of money because she brings people in. She's not as good as Ronda when it comes to getting people in. And that's another thing, too. Guys will come and watch women's sports if they're good. You're not going to watch soccer all the time when women are playing because they, it's not the same level as the men. You're gonna go, Men want to play, or men especially want to go see the best at, of it. Uh, in the UFC, because it's different. Because when you're... Uh, Talent-wise, 
Amanda Nunez, if she was a guy, she would probably be unbelievable at her, at her weight class. She doesn't have she doesn't have the same uh, strength to, to compete against the guys. But at 135, you would think that she would be good because all her skill sets are unbelievable. They're at the same level of the men, but when it comes down at the end of the day, she's not going to beat someone like T.J. Dillashaw or Dominic Cruz, even though they're about the same size. At the end, my uh, Dominic Cruz is still a, a stronger person and will put her down. Now there's there's a chance because if you make the wrong move, she might get you and, and tap you out somehow. But people understand that more. And, and uh, you know, they just had a fight the other day with uh, uh, Yo Chig Yo Yo and the girl from China. Great fight. Fight. And everybody on online saying it's one of the greatest of all time. And these girls are going to get paid well, right? And, you know, you're not, I mean, I think uh, Ronna jo Ronnie Rousey actually talked about this when somebody said something at years ago. And she says, I'm the biggest straw in the company, and I get paid the most. You know, if the girls were uh, selling out every place they go to, if they had a women's league that was making all this revenue, then you can understand why they should get the same as the men. But the, the problem is that they don't. I said you can look at one year where they win the World Cup, the men don't qualify, and then you put it together and say in that one snippet in time, they make about the same as the men. Now, if the men were doing the same the same level as the women as, as, as it compares to the other women schools, you know, theirs would have been four or five or six times more than the women. But it's it, if they just would have said, look, we just won the World Cup, we, we, we probably should get a, a raise, and they just would have done that, they're going to say, no, we can't do that because you have patriarchy and men don't want women to do well and all that other bullshit. Anyway, let me, let me stop that because I'll keep continually talking about this. It's such, and I'll just say this before, and I'll move on to something else. I love them. I rooted for them for over 30 years. And then they did this shit, and they just basically said, because I'm a guy, I'm sexist because I, that I, I can't really look and say, look, you shouldn't get as much as the men. You're not as good. You're just not. And why should we just continually give you the same as them? Anyway, so getting back to the virus. Again, I don't have any issue with them shutting down everything. Um, it's going to suck. You know, I went out yesterday and I got some more uh, um, paper products. No problems. I mean, Walmart was not as busy as it used to be, but there was people there. Now, in Huntsville, we haven't had any real outbreaks yet. Now, it's not going to say that it won't happen, you know. Um, you know, we're also, as we get closer to spring and summer, uh, I guess this, this virus doesn't really do anything when it's really hot, so... I think that Florida will be good in, in a little bit. I, again, I just worry about I worry about people getting it. Obviously, I don't want anybody in my family to get it, and I worry about the people that are going to lose money uh, during this time when this shit's not going on. I don't really care about the NBA players or the soccer players over in Europe, which I love as well, um, or uh, anything else really when it comes to that. The people that are actually paid are going to constantly going to be paid by their comp by their their, their clubs. Um, you know, a lot of crazy th good things are happening right now. Uh, you know, I want to see the end of the seasons over to the EPL. I want to see this, this in, the end of the NCAA. you got teams that haven't been in the Final Four. Or, uh, you know, Florida State's number four right now. Uh, you got Dayton who's there. I mean, these are, like, nice stories. But, oh well. You know, if, if shit happens, then we can't – we just have to wait. We have to put it on pause, and we'll all be fine. I worry, got, again, about – uh, people that uh, need those type of uh, events to s survive. You know, I worry about that. And I hope that as, as a society that we'll try to help those people out. Uh, certainly, professional teams should, should actually pay those people. Um, you know, the WWE, if they cancel or co postpone um, WrestleMania, they need to do something to the vendors. The same thing with uh, any of the, the NBA needs to do the same thing with their vendors. Um, something. Anyway. I've talked way too much. Let me know what you think below. What do you think about this virus? If you think it's overblown or do you think that we're not really taking it seriously enough? Um, how you think about Trump's response to it? And uh, what do you think we're going to be about a month from now, you know, uh, in, in April? What do you think we're going to be in this? Do you think we're going to be at two or 3,000 people dead, uh, you know, 70 or 80 million, 70 or 80,000 people affected? Or do you think it's just going to, just be very small small, and maybe only a thousand people might die. 
Um, just let me know and we'll talk about it in the comments. Thank you for watching. You guys have a good day. Bye.